Some people get their adrenaline rush from jumping out of a plane. We get it from going into the unknown in the dark, searching for things that we can't explain. Okay, uh, session by the freight elevator. Do we want to move this IR camera? We are Wyoming Area Spirit Posse. It's just to find answers in a field that there aren't really any hardcore answers. Well, I've always been interested in the paranormal. I've never really had many experiences, but when Carrie moved back from Michigan here to Cody, she told me that she was in a group. So we went out to the cemetery up South Fork, and then I was telling Allison at work about it, and she got all excited, and we kind of went, formed other people, went to Kane, and from then on it was Wasp. And they used to back the trucks up to the freight elevator to drop off. Allison is the case manager. She gets the, all the places set up for us and we go from there. I don't believe in ghosts. I believe in energy. Uh, so I am waiting to see something. I'm waiting to hear something definite. What they did for storage down here, or how they, you know. I think this was a quick way for them to call it out. The Grable Hotel actually was built in 1914. It was one of the very first brick buildings that was built in Grable besides the Alamo Hotel. My favorite part is probably the history and the feeling when you walk in there, you can definitely feel the energy. To dig up everything we need to, we contact people, go to the library, internet searches, and um, I find the more research that you have on a place, the more activity you can get because you use that as a um, trigger object. We never did do that. It usually takes about a good hour or two to set up our equipment to make sure everything's in the right position, the cameras are working, um, everything has fresh batteries, and then we're good to go. The Grable Hotel was built in 1914 and didn't open for business until 1916. And, and the beginning of its time, it was a bank. And then um, it uh, went under during the Great Depression, during the Prohibition, and that's when Joe Carey kind of stepped in and took over and he had you know a side business. He used the hotel as a front and then had a side business as a speakeasy brothel. It's amazing because I found out my grandfather worked at the um, garage in the basement and it would have been neat to hear his stories. It's weird, it's a hunt, you know, you just want to find out everything you can from the place you're at. And there's stories that they want to tell, and I strongly believe the more you go there, the more stories you'll hear. Some, you can't even understand that what they're saying. You can just definitely tell if it's male or female. I am dying for the chance to see a full body apparition. We were setting up cameras and Tyler was down here doing an EVP session with a couple of the other girls from our group. Tyler is our bait tonight. And we thought we'd share a quick EVP that we caught. We did a burst EVP session, they listened to it immediately and this is what you caught. So if you listen really carefully, you can hear the two of them talking. Tyler's the only male, mind you, in this building. If you just touched me, can you touch me again? Did you hear that? You okay? Sometimes it takes a lot longer later to catch evidence and then you go, whoa, how do we miss that? <laughs> There's 
places all over that just have so much history and so much activity. Ghost hunting is never ending. Our services are free of charge. If people have issues, we go in and we're more than willing to help the public. It's easy to get a hold of us. We are Wyoming Area Spirit Posse on Facebook at Spirit Posse 307. Uh, YouTube, Wyoming Area Spirit Posse. You can message us there. I would love to do this full time. I mean, it, it's um, being a vet tech is is my passion in life, but paranormal investigating is a close second, if not taking over. All of us seem to be going through really hard times <laughs> together, and it makes it feel like you're not alone, and you do have sisters in this. It's a great bunch of girls, and I feel blessed to be here.